Hi, it's Ian. It is 2.37 p.m. I have not had breakfast yet. My inner child is needing some extra love today. I was just having one of those mornings where I didn't really want to get out of bed, so I decided to reward myself for getting out of bed by making some French toast. <coughs> oh! We're gonna put in some egg, vanilla extract, cinnamon, bread, and milk. I'm using oat milk from Trader Joe's, and then the syrup for the end, also for Trader Joe's. Um, I got all my dishes that I'm gonna use out. The technique where you put out all of the ingredients and utensils that you're gonna use first is called mise en place. Um, although, sorry, Mr. Prasa, my cooking teacher in high school, I don't usually do this step. I usually just like run around the kitchen and grab things as I need it which I know, I know. It's not a very efficient method to cook, but it's what I do realistically like 99% of the time. I put in my teaspoon of vanilla extract, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, and my egg. And I'm gonna put this eggshell in the compost in the freezer. I'm gonna whisk this all together. Oh wait, I forgot to stop the milk and the one fourth cup of oat milk. I'm assuming most people know how to make French toast. If you don't, that's okay. Um, I'm teaching you now. When was the last time that you made French toast? It's been a while for me. Like I feel like it's been years since I've had some. This is what my inner child needed today and I'm glad that I could give that to them. I'm using my housemate's bowl because this shallow depth is perfect for dipping the bread in. I'm gonna heat a tablespoon of butter in this really cute pan. We use like medium heat. And when you measure out the butter, you can just use a knife and cut directly down like over the paper. That way you're measuring it super accurately. That's how I learned how to cut it in cooking class. Look at this little apple cutting board, it's so cute. While that's heating up, I'm gonna try to use my time efficiently and wash some of the dishes that I just used. Ready to go. Put her in there. This makes four pieces of French toast. So I will have two now and then two later, maybe tomorrow or later today. It smells so cinnamony and like sweet and good and I'm so excited. <laughs> it's actually not quite ready yet. Even though it's cloudy outside today, I can still hear birds chirping, and I think that's so cute. I don't know if you can hear them. These boys are ready to be flipped. Mm. The first two are done. These bread ends can also be composted. While I'm waiting for these to cook, I'm gonna wash my strawberries and blueberries and start chopping them up. I wanna try to cut these strawberries into little hearts because I think it would be super cute. You might be able to guess what I'm gonna say about these strawberry tops. I'm gonna compost them. One time I was trying to make potato salad and I accidentally 
innocently overcooked the potatoes. And my friend B FaceTimed me kind of as I was having a meltdown about overcooking the potatoes. And she was like, it's okay, Ian. When life gives you overcooked potatoes, just make mashed potatoes. And that kind of positivity and flexibility and outlook on life really inspires me. And I really miss my friend B. Um, I just wanted to share that little nugget of wisdom, um, especially because she's no longer with us. And I hope that inspires other people as well. Here's how my strawberry hearts turned out. They're so cute, look at them. Got one for now and some for later. It's time for the syrup. I'm screaming at this little tiny handle. Like, I don't think I could actually use this. <laughs> what is the purpose? It is 3.30 p.m. and I am about to have my breakfast. You know, I'm not judging myself. It's been a hard week. Honestly, it doesn't matter what time you have breakfast as long as you're still eating and feeding yourself. I'm just glad that I am feeding myself regardless of what time it is and I'm not skipping any meals. So this is gonna be one out of three meals that I'm gonna have today. a little sweet because of the syrup. I really like kind of like the nuttiness that the multi-grain bread has. Um, it just really complements like the strawberries and the cinnamon and the syrup really well. I really, I did that. I did that. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for sticking around and watching. Um, Maybe I'll make some more cooking videos like this. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Let me know what kind of content you'd like to see from me. I know some people have been asking for a room tour or a house tour. I expect a little room tour video when I am more set up in my room. Drink some water, stretch, take your meds if you need to, eat some food if you need to. I'll see you later. Bye!